it's almost a year since we began our travel video archiving project. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate your support as sharing and positive interaction with our viewers is essential to grow our channel. In this video, we have re-edited our Alaskan cruises footages into 4K Ultra HD with voiceover, mainly highlighting the amazing beauty of Hubbard, Marjorie and John Hopkins glaciers and the surrounding areas. We were lucky enough to explore Alaska in 2019 on board Princess Cruises Island Princess. Island Princess is a cruise ship that belongs to Princess Cruises. This was our first cruise and we booked a balcony room. We wanted to watch and video the Alaskan glaciers without any interruption. The ship has a capacity up to 2200 passengers and 900 crew members. Overall, Island Princess is a popular choice for passengers looking for comfortable and enjoyable cruise experience with a range of amenities and activities. We started our cruise from Anchorage via Whittier in US and ending at Vancouver, Canada. Visiting Hubbard Glacier and Glacier Bay National Park were the main two attractions of this cruise over the first two days. We started our cruise in the late afternoon. Although it was July, summer in US, mountains were covered with dark green vegetations, but all peaks were snow-capped at Whittier, making the surroundings area very spectacular. It was the beginning of an unbelievable journey. Sun was setting, making the 180 degree view breathtaking. Weather was brilliant, completely sunny for the seven days that we cruised. It was amazingly lucky situation, because we were told that in Alaska it always rains. It was heavenly atmosphere to photograph the glaciers. By the way, we have a complete playlist on our YouTube channel covering all aspects of this 7-day Alaskan cruise video without words. So please watch our playlist if you are interested in cruising in Alaska or just interested in nature photography and glaciers. In this video, we have revisited picturesque Alaskan glaciers with some better video editing skills that we developed over the year and enhance photographic experience for you to capture this extraordinary natural wonder. The sea was calm overnight, so we had a good sleep. Next morning when we woke up, we were surrounded by a beautiful scenery. We were surrounded by high mountain ranges with snow caps. Color of the ocean was emerald green with pieces of iceberg floating around the cruise liner. Our cruise captain announced that in a few hours time we will be reaching Hubbard Glacier, so we continued sailing towards the Hubbard Glacier. Mm. 
After sailing for a while, suddenly within the mountains, we could see the Hubbard Glacier for the first time at a distance. It was exciting and mesmerizing. Hubbard Glacier is a massive tidewater glacier located in eastern Alaska and is one of the largest glaciers in North America. The glacier is named after Gardiner Hubbard, a US lawyer and philanthropist who helped establish the National Geographic Society. The Hubbard Glacier is about 76 miles, approximately 122 km long and around 6 miles wide at its terminus where it meets the ocean. I don't think there is any word that I can describe this beauty. Please look at this view and enjoy. The Hubbard Glacier is a popular destination for visitors to Alaska, especially those on a cruise ships. Many cruise liners offer tours that take passengers close to the glacier, allowing them to witness the immense size and the beauty of the glacier up close. One of the unique features of Hubbard Glacier is its tendency to advance and retreat in cycles. It has been steadily advancing since the early 20th century and has blocked the entrance to Russell Fjord, creating a natural dam. As the glacier advances, it floats icebergs into the fjord, creating a dramatic sight. Overall, the Hubbard Glacier is a stunning natural wonder that attracts visitors from all over the world. Its size, beauty and dynamic nature make it a must-see destination for anyone visiting Alaska. At the end of this amazing day, we're sad to leave this wonderful Hubbard Glacier site. So much effort has been gone into planning and anticipation for this day and now we have seen it. But we're also equally excited for the Glacier Bay National Park that we were supposed to visit next day. So we sailed overnight to the Glacier Bay National Park, where Marjorie Glacier and the John Hopkins Glacier were waiting for us. Glacier Bay National Park is a vast wilderness area located in southeastern Alaska. The park covers an area of around 3.3 million acres, approximately 13,200 square kilometers and is home to a wide range of wildlife, including brown bears, moose, mountain goats, and humpback whales. The park is named after Glacier Bay, a large bay on the park's western side that is dotted with numerous glaciers, including the famous Marjorie Glacier and John Hopkins Glacier. Marjorie Glacier is a massive tidewater glacier located in Glacier Bay National Park. It is one of the most popular attractions in the park and is known for its stunning beauty and impressive size. The Marjorie Glacier is around 1 mile or 1.6 km wide and rises to a height of about 250 feet, about 76 meters above the water line. It is estimated to be around 250 years old and is constantly changing due to movement of the glacier and the formation of icebergs. The Marjorie Glacier is known for its beautiful blue color, which is created by the way the ice absorbs and reflects light. It was an unbelievable experience, probably one of the best experiences in our lifetime. John Hopkins Glacier is a large tidewater glacier located in Glacier Bay National Park. It is named after John Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, which sponsored several scientific expeditions to Alaska in the late 19th and early 20th century. The John Hopkins Glacier is one of the most picturesque glaciers in the park. Its steep ice cliffs and deep blue color make it a popular destination for the visitors.
in addition to its glaciers. Glacier Bay National Park is known for its rugged coastline, dense forests and vast expanses of tundra. Overall, Glacier Bay National Park is a stunning wilderness area that offers visitors a chance to experience the beauty and grandeur of Alaska's natural landscape. So friends, this was our Alaskan Glacier experience. Hope you like this enhanced video experience of this extraordinary wilderness. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Goodbye until the next video.